गाइस टुडेज आवर टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट द टीनिया अनगुयम और अनकोमाइकोसिस सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द अनकोमाइकोसिस सो अनकोमाइकोसिस इज अ फंगल इन्फेक्शन दैट इन्फेक्ट्स आवर फिंगर नेल एंड मोर कॉमनली इट्स अफेक्ट द टोए नेल्स सो गाइज दिस ऑनकोमाइकोसिस अकर्स इन इंडिविजुअल्स हु हैव डायबिटीज सोडियासिस पेरीफेरल वास्कुलर डिजीज एंड वीक इम्यून सिस्टम फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ ऑल नेल डिजीजेस दिस ऑनकोमाइकोसिस अकर्स सो गाइज व्हाट इज द कॉजेटिव ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑफ ऑनकोमाइकोसिस सो ऑनकोमाइकोसिस इज कॉज बाई ट्राइकोफाइटन रूब्रम दिस ट्राइकोफाइटन रूब्रम इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ द ऑनकोमाइकोसिस और टीनिया अनगुयम एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ इन्फेक्शन ऑफ ऑनकोमाइकोसिस इज कॉज बाई ट्राइकोफाइटन रूब्रम फंजाई second one is the microsporum and the third one is the epidermophyton these three uh, are the example of fungi which uh, causes the onchomycosis so guys what is the appearance of the onchomycosis so <clears throat> in onchomycosis uh, our nail plate becomes discolored and thickening and the patient also feel pain and tenderness in the infected area this onchomycosis is associated with areas of fungal infections like feet scalp of the head so guys now i am going to move the classification of the onchomycosis so the onchomycosis are classified into four groups four subtypes first one is the distal sub angle onchomycosis or distal onchomycosis so guys this uh, most this distal onchomycosis is the most common form of fungal nail infections that is caused by trichophyton rubrum this trichophyton rubrum fungi is the most uh, causative organism of distal onchomycosis and uh, in distal onchomycosis the fungi invades the nail plate and nail bed of the individual <coughs> so guys second one is the proximal subangle onchomycosis this uh, proximal subangle onchomycosis is uh, 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 mostly occurs in the proximal nail bed and uh, the fungi penetrates the newly formed nail plate of the individuals and uh, it occurs uh, mostly in the immunocompromised patient so guys uh, the third one is the white uh, superficial onchomycosis this white in white superficial onchomycosis the fungal infections uh, uh, appears like white chalky the white chalky appearance of the fungal infections of the superficial layer of our nail plate so in our in <coughs> on our superficial layer of nail plate that uh, uh, fungal infections appears like white chalky so guys uh, the third type uh, the third sub type of the onchomycosis is the candidal oncomycosis in candidal oncomycosis the candidal yeast species invades the nail plate of the individual or the patient and uh, this uh, candidal oncomycosis uh, occurs in two forms first one is the mild and second one is the severe so mild in mild cases the white spots uh, can be seen on the nail plate of the individual and uh, the severe cases we can see the yellow or brown discoloration and swelling of the nail plate so guys uh, these uh, four are the sub uh, class sub type of the onchomycosis uh, and uh, now i am going to tell about the onco oncolysis what is mean by the term oncolysis oncolysis is the separation of the nail plate from the nail bed 
in this case uh, the nail plate is separated from the nail bed so guys now i am going to tell about the uh, <coughs> diagnosis of the oncomycosis how we will diagnose the oncomycosis so we can diagnose oncomycosis by lab testing and uh, potassium hydroxide preparation of skin and nail clippings and we can also diagnose the oncomycosis by PAS stain so PAA means PAS means periodic acid skiff and uh, here we can uh, detect uh, detect the polysaccharides polysaccharides which are present uh, on our nail so guys uh, these are the differential diagnosis of oncomycosis like the nail psoriasis yellow nail syndrome nail tumor and nail trauma these four are the differential diagnosis of oncomycosis so guys uh, what is the treatment of the oncomycosis how <coughs> how we will treat the oncomycosis so we can treat the oncomycosis uh, if uh, the infections uh, occurs from four to six months for complete fingernails growth sorry for complete fingernails growth it takes time four to six months to grow and uh, for a complete toe, toe nail growth it takes times uh, 12 to 18 months uh, to grow uh, the complete uh, nail so guys uh, in oral antifungals uh, if uh, the persons or individuals suffering from oncomycosis uh, then uh, we can give the oral antifungals so this uh, terbinafine and itraconazole this itraconazole is a form of oral antifungals so first of all terbinafine um, we should give uh, uh, for fingernail infections if uh, a person who are suffering from fingernail infections then uh, we should give terbinafine 250 milligram daily for six weeks and uh, if the individual suffering for uh, suffering from toy nails infection then we should give 250 milligram daily for 12 weeks and uh, this 50% uh, uh, is the cure rate of uh, the oncomycosis by giving the terbinafine drugs and uh, the risk factor of the terbinafine is the liver toxicity so guys uh, the uh, itraconazole so we should give itraconazole like uh, for uh, toy nail infection we should give 200 milligram daily for 12 weeks and for fingernail infection we should give 200 milligram daily for 7 days up to 7 days and uh, after gap after 3 weeks uh, sorry in three weeks uh, we should not give any medication and after three weeks we should give a 200 milligram daily for seven days again itraconazole so these uh, are the treatment of uh, <coughs> the itraconazole and the guys itraconazole uh, the cu uh, cure rate is 40 percent and this also uh, is the risk factor of liver toxicity so guys uh, now um, let's move to the prevention of the uh, oncomycosis so we can prevent oncomycosis by keep our feet clean and dry and uh, to treat athlete's foot as early as if a, a patient uh, or if an individual has uh, athlete's foot then we can treat as as early as possible to avoid the infection spread to nail so guys uh, we can also prevent uh, oncomycosis by clean wear clean and dry socks uh, every day and uh, wear clip flops and uh, cylinders in communal showers and swimming pool so guys uh, we can also prevent by 
it uh, we can also prevent uh, onchomycosis uh, by do not uh, wear old or tight shoes we should not wear old and tight shoes and we can uh, prevent uh, the onchomycosis by this method so guys uh, i hope you like my video thank you